Martin, Scurry, and Borden counties. We've got you covered, and these thunderstorms going to continue throughout the night. we got a chance of seeing them at midnight, 70 degrees, 76 at midnight, then 71 at 7 a.m., and 80 by noon. Pay attention for full weather. It's going to be very important. Local 2 News starts right now. Next, a man drowns at Moss Creek Lake this afternoon. We're live in Big Spring tonight with details. Also, more severe weather could be on the horizon. How Big Spring residents prepping for the worst. And splish splash, Midlanders lining up as pools open for Memorial Day weekend. All those stories and more coming up. Live from Midland, Odessa, and Big Spring, we're Basin Trusted, Basin Proud. This is Local 2 News at 10 in HD. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren Tropea. Thank you for spending your Saturday night with us for Local 2 News at 10. We begin tonight in Big Spring, where we learn of a drowning out at Moss Creek Lake this afternoon. The Howard County Volunteer Fire Department dive team, along with Big Spring Police, found 28-year-old David Upchurch on the south side of the lake, about 50 yards from shore. And that's where we find Local 2's Don Log tonight. Don, what can you tell us? Yeah, Lauren, Big Spring officials say a man drowned here at Moss Lake earlier today. Like you said, 28-year-old David Upchurch was swimming with his family. Witnesses say he began to struggle when he was swimming back to shore. They said he then began to panic, took off his flotation device, continued to struggle, and then eventually just stopped coming up for water. Now, police were contacted at about 2.30 this afternoon. That's when authorities arrived, and they recovered his body just after 4 o'clock. He was found about 50 feet from the shoreline where the swimming area is. That's directly behind me across the lake over there. Now, officials say alcohol did not play a factor in this drowning, but make sure you stay with Local 2 News as we gather more information and visit yourbasin.com for more info. For now, live in Big Spring, Don Log, Local 2 News. New at 10 tonight, a single engine plane crashes in Midland County and the pilot leaves with minor injuries. We're told the airplane landed on runway 28 at the Midland International Air and Space Port when it was suddenly lifted back up by high wind gusts, causing it to fly on its side. Troopers say the airplane crashed on its propeller, then rolled over onto the runway. And turning back over to Big Spring tonight, you'll remember emergency sirens in the city were not working last week after being struck by lightning. Now city officials say 10 out of the 12 are fully functional. Crews are working to get the other two up and running. And it was less than a week ago we saw Big Spring residents picking up the pieces of their homes after a tornado hit the town. Local 2's Don Log caught up with some of these locals to see if they're prepared for more storms to come. More storms are expected to hit Big Spring Sunday night, and residents like Cindy Mendez have one main goal. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, maybe to keep my home. If you'll remember last Sunday night, three tornadoes touched down in the Big Spring area, leaving homes like this in ruins. Chief of the Howard County Volunteer Fire Department, Tommy Sullivan, says this time around he feels officials are better prepared to weather the storm much more efficiently. We've taken last week's event and critiqued it and, and looked at what we could have done better. Chief Sullivan says although they can't control Mother Nature, what officials can control is readiness and response. You know, we're ready for it. My personnel are trained for it. and No matter what Mother Nature throws at us, you know, we have to be there the aftermath. He urges residents to have a plan to seek shelter if necessary, have non-perishables ready, <laughs> stay off of the roads, and prepare for anything else the storm could bring. You know, just, just be prepared to be self-sufficient for a little while. Th think about yourself and your family members when you think about putting yourself in harm's way. Because this might not be the last storm Big Spring sees this summer. It's, it's that time of year. The storms are going to be here. The flooding is going to be here. We're not used to that. And this is an exceptional year. Uh, whatever happens. <laughs> whatever happens. Yes. Don Log, Local 2 News.
Now, if you want to stay up to date on changing weather conditions, check in with us online. And, of course, find us on our Facebook page. That's local2news-kmid. And speaking of severe weather, Ryan, it looks like much of the northern part of the basin is getting hit right now. And we're even hearing quarter-sized hail out in Martin County. Uh, absolutely. Uh, very strong thunderstorms, very strong winds. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar right now. Show you where these are taking place. Uh, Martin and Andrews County, still a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 1015. Expect severe winds. Winds, hail. Uh, if you got pets, get them inside and get yourself inside. Stay away from the windows. And we also got storms up in the north in Scurry and uh, Borden counties. But these storms are starting to move out of that area. And the severe thunderstorm warning had just been lifted in these areas. So fortunately, we got some good news up there. But you still need to take your precautions. Uh, more for you. Uh, more for you in full weather. For now, back to you, Lauren. Thanks, Ryan. And turning to the tall city tonight, where lots of basiners splashed around in the pool today. Both Doug Russell and Washington Pools opening their doors for Memorial Day weekend. The first time opening with brand new renovations and more than a thousand people came out. Record-breaking attendance. That's according to pool employees. They also tell us that people were traveling from as far as La Mesa to join in on the fun. We have people come from like La Mesa. I've, I've heard people, cashiers, they come from like San Angelo, just for here, La Mesa, just to come to the People start lining up around like 10, and we open like at 11. Both pools will be open tomorrow from 1 to 7 p.m. And speaking of water, there's a new Texas sales tax holiday this weekend, and it's all about helping with water and energy conservation. Products that display a water sense label or logo can be purchased tax-free for personal or business use. These items include shower heads, bathroom sink faucets, and toilets. We're told shoppers will save an estimated $8.7 million in state and local sales tax during the Memorial Day weekend sales tax holidays. You can save money on these items from now until Monday, May 30th. For a complete list of tax-free items this weekend, head over to our website, yourbasin.com. And a severe water shortage taking over the Chisos Basin and Big Bend National Park. To help prevent the water deficit, the park putting certain measures in place. The RV dump station in the campground closed. The lodge using paper plates to eliminate dishwashing and a continued smoke ban on the trails to prevent wildfires. Of course, you can always bring your own drinking water to the park and use laundry locations off park grounds to help out. Happening across Texas tonight as Memorial Day approaches, TxDOT revving up efforts to keep the roadways safe. Law enforcement cracking down on unbuckled drivers and passengers on Texas roadways. Local 2's Casey Jones tells us what could happen to you if you don't buckle up. TxDOT reports more than 2,000 accidents where those involved weren't wearing their seatbelt. And nearly 900 of those ended in death. Law enforcement across the state ramping up efforts to keep drivers and passengers buckled in, handing out fines up to $200. Click it or you could face a $200 ticket. Uh, we hope people uh, are respectful and, and follow the rules of the road. Sorry about that. We're having a, a few technical difficulties. And turning to elections tonight, we are your local election headquarters. Another Trump rally leads to nearly three dozen arrests after altercations broke out in San Diego. Once the event was over, San Diego police out in full force undressed in riot gear, attempted to seal off anti-Trump demonstrators from supporters as they left the rally. Shouting matches ensued, a few scuffles even broke out. Police ordered the crowd to leave, at times even aggressively. At least 35 people arrested. Look at the cameras, they turned because they found the protesters. Get them out, get them out. Get them out of here. Trump later applauded the San Diego police in a tweet saying, fantastic job on handling the thugs who tried to disrupt our very peaceful and well-attended rally. Greatly appreciated. Meanwhile, farmers in Central California complaining they're not getting enough water for their crops. 
They say officials diverting too much water away to protect some endangered fish. The state has also been hit by a drought that's now in its fifth year. But Trump said in Fresno, there's no drought there. He said that if he becomes president, he'll send more water the farmer's way. Some people liked his message. This isn't about a drought. Even in an above average year in Northern California, we still aren't getting water down here like we should get. Not even close. I think he is a businessman, a business person. He understands it. And so I think we have to sit down with him correctly and explain it. But some farmers said they're not sure they can support Trump's stance on immigration. Still to come here on Local 2 News at 10, it's considered one of the most unique events in West Texas, and it's happening this Memorial Day weekend. Coming up, we take you to Barbado in Rankin, Texas. We have all the tasty details on the World Championship cook-off next. And we're still continuing to follow these storms in the basin. We're also going to start to see cooler temperatures, and of course, the heavy winds are going to continue. That's in weather next. If you could download 25 songs in one second, you'd listen to more new music. If you could download a TV episode in two seconds, you'd watch more hit shows. If you could download an HD feature film in just 42 seconds, you'd see more great movies. And if you had powerful one gig speed from Sunlink, you'd be more connected than anyone. Announcing one gig internet only from Sunlink. More power to you. Don't let it end without you getting a great deal. It's the final days of our 15th annual May Challenge at All-American Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Odessa. From now until the close of Business Monday, we are doing all we can to make this the best May Challenge ever. Drive home in this new 2016 Ram 1500 Lone Star for only $389 a month. Or choose this new 2015 Challenger SXT, only $289 a month. Don't miss the last few days of our annual May Challenge, part of the Memorial Day sales event. And remember, when other dealers say no, All-American Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Odessa says yes. I'm Bob Mills, and it's the Memorial Day event. This six-piece bedroom group, normally $14.35, just $7.96. And the five-drawer chest, a $300 value, free. That True Gel Queen mattress with charcoal, the filter allergens, $13.82. And the Heads Up Mood Base, a $700 value, free. Plus, you get years of interest-free financing in our commission-free shopping environment. It's the Memorial Day event at Bob Mills. Hey folks, Stroy Colbath at Benny Boyd and Andrews. Just recently, we've suffered some major fire damage, but we're West Texans, and West Texans overcome tough times. As we rebuild, we're fully open and operational in our temporary offices right here on the lot. We invite you to come see us during the Drive and Discover event, where we'll save you thousands and treat you like family. Remember, the West Texas spirit is alive and well at Benny Boyd and Andrews. Your local weather authority, Horace Brown, weeknights on Local 2 News at 5. Now, your Local 2 weather authority forecast. Welcome back. Ryan Martin joining us once again. So, Ryan, some severe weather going on in the northern part of the basin. Can you tell us a little bit more about what uh, residents in maybe Martin County and Andrews County are seeing today? Absolutely. Some severe thunderstorms. We're talking about golf ball. As as big as golf ball sized hill, heavy winds, so make sure you get your pets inside. Let's start things off on the Doppler radar, get right into it. Uh, here's what we're tracking right now, seeing these storms up in Martin and Andrews County moving through the area, and we're also going to see these thunderstorms start to move uh, up into the north, uh, seeing Borden County starting to move out and moving into Scurry County up into the Snyder area. Uh, and we're going to start to see these weather alerts. Uh, seeing right here, you see severe thunderstorm watches in Glasscock, Howard, Mitchell, and Reagan County. That'll be in effect until 11 p.m., so make sure you keep a watch out in these areas. No severe thunderstorm warnings yet, but you need to make sure you're in a safe place tonight. Make sure you stay away from the windows. Get your dogs inside. You could be seeing some pretty heavy thunderstorms, some hail, and some debris flying throughout the area. And hour by hour, we're going to start to see these thunderstorms continue throughout the night, seeing going into Sunday morning and even going into during the daytime on Sunday. And it's going to continue into the afternoon on Sunday, but going to see some clearing. And then we should be seeing some early clearing on Monday, but still going to be seeing chances of thunderstorms all throughout the week. Wind speeds right now seeing 15 in Wink and 14 over in Pecos, 15 in Marfa and 17 in 
uh, Alpine, uh, obviously some very heavy storm uh, wind speeds up to the north. And these winds are just going to continue. You're going to see a lot of heavy winds throughout the week, seeing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. As long as these thunderstorms stick around, we're going to be seeing heavy winds to go along with it. Those things always go together. You can see it right there. Monday night, expect those wind speeds as high as into the 20 mile an hour range. And then wind gust right now, seeing a 22 down in Alpine. And then uh, you're going to be seeing peak gusts for today. Got into the 20s, got as high as 30 miles an hour in Wink, uh, 28 up in Snyder. That could exceed as these thunderstorms start to move through that area. Health index for today. Uh, seeing tree pollen low, grass low, mold moderate, and weeds also low. This all courtesy of Dr. John D. Bray. And as the almanac, uh, looking at the almanac for today, we were above average. Uh, once again, 97 degrees, normally at 91. Uh, low, actually below average, 58 for the low and 63 for the normal. There I am, finally. Sorry about that. We had these technical errors, but fortunately we got to show you the graphics which that was very important. Right now, temperatures you can see into the 70s over in Big Springs, 70 up in 77 up in Seminole, 83 in Wink, 83 in Pecos, and then seeing 84 down in Presidio. So 70s and 80s throughout the basin. Humidity wise, uh, still pretty dry out to the west. Carlsbad 11, 10 percent in uh, the Guadalupe Mountains, 57 in Marfa, so a good amount of moisture there. And obviously 55 in Big Spring and 63 up in Snyder where they're starting to see the storms creep into their area. Now let's get to your temperatures for tonight. Uh, going to be a pretty mild night in terms of temperatures. Low 60s in the northern basin and then going to see the 80s tomorrow. Could see a chance of seeing 90s in Jal. Uh, Central basin expect temperatures to be in the high 60s tonight and then going to be in the high 80s tomorrow. Though we do have a chance of seeing 90s in Grand Falls tomorrow. Trans Pecos uh, expect 60s tonight. High 60s to low 60s. 60s, uh, 64 in Balmorea, 93 in Balmorea tomorrow. So it's going to be a pretty hot one in the Trans Pecos. Uh, Dryden and Sanderson in the high 80s. And then going into the mountains, expect uh, 56 in Marfa tonight. City we're going to stay in the 70s, 68 in the Big Bend Mountains. Then tomorrow going to be another hot one in Presidio and the Big Bend Mountains as well. Marfa going to be in the high 80s. And the seven day forecast. Uh, Memorial Day weekend going to wrap up a little bit different than the way it started. We saw pretty nice conditions earlier today, but tomorrow expect a 40% chance of thunderstorms. That's going to continue into Monday, and then that's just going to continue. 30% chance on Tuesday, 40% chance on Wednesday, not really a chance of rain on Thursday, but then more chances of thunderstorms on Friday. These temperatures also cooler than last week. Temperatures in the high 80s throughout the week. We're going to get all the way down to 82 on Thursday. So really, Ryan, just some severe storms kind of brewing across the basin. We want to make sure everyone out there is staying safe. Absolutely. Stay away from windows. Get your pets inside. Be cautious. Yes, absolutely. And, of course, stay with us online, yourbasin.com, and our Facebook page. That's local2news-kmid for all of the latest weather updates. In the meantime, Ryan, you know what I could go for right now? I'm going to guess you could go for a juicy burger. A big juicy burger. <laughs> I am starving. Well, coming up, we'll tell you why you'll want to throw some burgers on the grill tonight. Know of a community event or news story? Then contact us. You can call 432-563-4421. Email news at kmid.tv. Like us on Facebook at local2news-kmid. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram at local2news-kmid. How many sick days do you get? Why? Because, according to Netflix, Grande delivers the number one streaming experience in the country. And your favorite shows aren't going to binge themselves. I'll call my boss. <coughs> good. That's so good. Thanks. You got any food? Grande offers blazing fast speeds up to 400 megs. And right now, you can get internet and digital basic TV bundles starting as low as $39.99 per month. Call 8662-GRANDE or visit mygrande.com today. Grande, we're here for you. The Big Spring Downtown Revitalization Association proudly presents the Elan USA 7-Eleven Fantastic Fourth, June 24th and 25th. Friday's concert features the Bellamy Brothers, Mark McKinney and Jimmy and the Johnsons. Saturday's concert features Rodney Atkins, Locomotives, John Wolfe and more. Two days of family fun with the Kids Zone, IBCA and SCA sanctioned cook coffee events, live music, food, and craft vendors. Follow us on Facebook for updates. To be a vendor or for sponsor information, go to BigSpringDRA.com. Vendor registration is first come, first serve. The Elan USA 7-Eleven Fantastic Fourth. Catch the savings at Kelly Grimsley Auto Group in Odessa. We're in a league of our own with this starting lineup. 
It's a grand slam, and the savings are coming home to you. Still facing this 2016 Kia Forte, only 59 or no money down, 229 a month. Score, even if your credit's less than perfect or you owe more on your trade than it's worth. So call 1-877-KELLY-AUTO now. Click on kellygrimsley.com or slide into the Kelly Grimsley Auto Group in Odessa today. Save! I'm Bob Mills, and it's the Memorial Day event. This six-piece bedroom group, normally $14.35, just $7.96. And the five-drawer chest, a $300 value, free. That True Gel Queen mattress with charcoal to filter allergens, $13.82. And the Heads Up Mood Base, a $700 value, free. Plus, you get years of interest-free financing in our commission-free shopping environment. It's the Memorial Day event at Bob Mills. Watching Local 2, Midland Odessa. Basin Trusted, Basin Proud. You're watching Local 2 News at 10 in HD. Welcome back. Well, an old proverb goes as this. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Well, one fifth grade class in the tall city honoring that philosophy. The kids participated in Read to Feed, where each book read equals one dollar. The money then donated to Heifer International. They were able to purchase a cow for a needy family overseas. The animal is not used for food, but it's used to actually build capital and to make the family financially independent. Parents and staff of Trinity sponsored the readers, donating a dollar for each book read. And one local park packed for a good cause. Last month, we told you about one woman's vision to bring a new place to play in Goldsmith after noticing dwindling conditions of the park. Crystal Carson took matters into her own hands to raise money for the park, holding a fundraiser today to not only benefit park renovations, but also help Goldsmith woman Marilyn, who's battling a rare form of liver cancer. She's just a really important person, so we want to do whatever we can to keep her here with us. With donations, city funds, and fundraising efforts, Carson raised $55,000 for the park, and that's before counting today's contributions. It's a World Championship cook-off, unlike any other, and it's in Rankin for Memorial Day weekend. We're talking about Barbado. Residents in Upton County could enter several different cooking competitions, everything from chili to ice cream. But it wasn't just about food. Vendors also able to sell items and many animals out on display. One nonprofit, Guardians of the Children, tells us this helps them promote their group. We started here in December, so this is our first one that we plan on doing it over and over again. We've done a lot to raise money for our kids. All the food festivities continue tomorrow. Tara, we're going to have to check that out and try the chili. And from food to the field, you have lots of baseball so, coverage for us tonight. So much baseball news. But, you know, we've also got the NBA Finals going on right now. Yes, so pretty exciting stuff those. right there. But first, let's just start with some baseball. Yeah. Coming up next on your local two sports, Alpine and Midland Leaf fight to advance to the championship game. Find out who made it when we come back. Now through Memorial Day at Rooms to Go, interest rates are going down, way down, all the way down to zero. Shop this weekend, pay zero interest, which means you can finance and pay no interest, not one penny of interest until June 2021, 60 months from now. Again, that's June 2021, with no interest adding up. Just make equal monthly payments until June 2021. Yes, Rooms to Go has it down, interest rates down to zero. Offer ends Monday, Memorial Day. Don't miss it. Dollar, one dollar over invoice. One dollar over invoice on every 2016 Kelly Grimsley Honda in stock. Attention Permian Basin. This is a limited time offer from Kelly Grimsley Honda. Take immediate delivery of any new 2016 Kelly Grimsley Honda and you'll pay one dollar over invoice. And with every purchase, you receive free lifetime oil changes and state inspections. Call 33 Honda now. Click KellyGrimsleyHonda.com. One dollar over invoice. Exclusively at Kelly Grimsley Honda on JBS Parkway. A good neighbor is more than an acquaintance. A good neighbor is more than a friend. A good neighbor is welcoming and makes you feel like family. Helpful, kind, caring, supportive. In an emergency, you can count on your neighbors. Day or night, 
at Neighbors Emergency Center. Your doctors. Your neighbors. I'm Bob Mills, and it's the Memorial Day event. This six-piece bedroom group, normally $1,435, just $796. And the five-drawer chest, a $300 value, free. That True Gel Queen mattress with charcoal to filter allergens, $1,382. And the Heads Up Mood Base, a $700 value, free. Plus, you get years of interest-free financing in our commission-free shopping environment. It's the Memorial Day event at Bob Mills. Local 2 Sports. Welcome into your Local 2 Sports. I'm Tara Talmadge. Today, two local baseball teams battled to advance to the regional finals. Starting off, Midland Lee went head-to-head -head against Coppell. And a win here sends the Rebels to the championship game. Pitcher Gunnar Blevins strikes out Austin Gross to end the inning after Coppell scores five runs in the fourth to take a 10-1 lead. Coppell's Ray Gather bring in the heat as well on the mound. Strikes out the side of Talon Boza in the fifth. Bases loaded with no outs. Hunter Coleman pops one up. But Coppell doesn't make the play, allowing Tristan Martinez to come home 10-2. Coppell still leads. Later in the inning, John Wuthrick knocks it to left field and allows enough time for Wesley Hall and Ty Coleman to come home as the Rebels start to make a comeback 10-4. And they keep it rolling with Evan Mata, who hits it to left, and Coppell drops the ball. Coleman scores and leads and cuts the lead in half. But, guys, Coppell does end up taking game two, 14 to 5. But then the Rebels came back in game three to upset the number one team in the nation, defeating Coppell 6 to 4. And head coach Brian Roper tells me that the work his team put in this past week is what made the difference during this series. Well, you know what? We worked hard during the week on what we were going to see uh, from the pitching staff. And our guys did a great job of raising their pitch count, being patient, and laying off the slider on the strike zone. So that was a difference. We stayed off the slider on the strike zone. Now the team didn't have another Sprite Show celebration, but Coach Roper did get drenched. The Rebels now have some time off before taking on Amarillo in the Region 1 6A Finals. Congratulations, Rebels. Also this afternoon, the Fighting Bucks. Alpine took on Clyde in Game 2 for their chance to sweep the Bulldogs. Bottom of the fourth with two outs, Alpine leads 11-0, and Nick Crespo throws some heat and gets Dylan Knox to go down swinging. Top of the fifth, Alpine with a runner on second, and Derek Rojo hits it over the shortstop. Aaron Frost runs home to put Alpine up. 12-0. Bottom of the fifth, Bulldogs with a runner on second. Dante Gomez, he's up, sends it to center field. It drops in, and Tyler Crawford runs it in, slides home to give Clyde their first run of the game. 12-1, Alpine. Top of the sixth, Alpine with a runner on third, and Isaac Gallego grounds it out, and Christian Morris runs it in to put the Bucks up 13-3, and that is how it ends, folks. The Fighting Bucks take a 13-3 win over Clyde in advance to face shallow water in the 3A Regional Final. Now staying with baseball, after nearly two years, Rangers pitcher Yu Darvish made his anxiously awaited return to the mound tonight. The Rangers reinstated Darvish before tonight's game against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And third baseman Joey Gallo was option to triple a round rock in order to make room on the active roster for darvish and that decision clearly paid off for the rangers darvish held the pirates to one run on three hits and a walk in five innings he struck out seven and left after throwing 81 pitches including 51 strikes definitely impressive darvish and the rangers go on to take a five to two win over the pirates ending up the evening up the series at one win each now from the MLB to the NBA, Golden State survived on Thursday, holding off Oklahoma City to a win for Game 5. But can they do it again and force a Game 7? Tonight, the Thunder hosted Curry and company in a legacy-defining elimination game. But right out the gate, things were not looking good for Golden State. They needed to apply pressure early and instead made a handful of careless turnovers. And Curry struggled to put points up on the board. But despite how poorly they played, OKC was only up 53-48 to at the half. The Warriors took advantage of that and began to claw their way back from disaster, closing in on the Thunder. And right now, there's about three minutes left in this game, and it is tied 99-99. to Who knows who will take on the Cavs? 
in the NBA Finals, which you'll find right here on ABC. I'm pretty excited for that. I've been keeping tabs here on the score for Tara. I know. It's kind of just been, I've, I've been waiting for the Golden State Warriors to catch up there. I know, um, it's tied. Completely I'm tied out with just what, I'm just going to keep refreshing right now. About two minutes left in the game? Yeah, 247. That's great. I'm These are always the kinds of games you want, <laughs> you want to see, though. You want the good action-packed games. Oh, yeah, and this has a, been a great series. Yes. I'm kind of pulling for a game seven. I don't know about y'all, but too. I love a good game seven. Me too. And <laughs> last night I watched the game. LeBron was on fire, as always. But you know what? It wasn't that exciting. I mean, they yeah. just had a, they had a high lead most of the night. So right. it's games like this that we hope for. And yep. I, I'm pulling for a game seven, too. Me too. It'll be a good game. Who knows who's going to win? I don't know about you. I'm kind of a Thunder fan because of Kevin Durant, but that's about it. I could go either way. I'm kind of pulling for the Cavs. I could also go for the Thunder. Yeah, we'll either see. way. And also, real quick, another congratulations to the Rebels. Yes, that's and the Fighting Bucks. Both of them mm -hmm. are advancing. Some exciting stuff right there. I'm excited to see where they play as well. Hopefully, we'll be there. That's yes. the plan. <laughs> Definitely. We'll be right back after this. Thanks, Tara. All furniture for the new set is provided by Carter's. Catch the savings at Kelly Grimsley Auto Group in Odessa. We're in a league of our own with this starting lineup. It's a grand slam, and the savings are coming home to you. Hit a home run in this 2010 F-150, just $25,995, or no money down, $347 a month. Score, even if your credit's less than perfect or you owe more on your trade, then it's worth. So call 1-877-KELLY-AUTO now. Click on kellygrimsley.com or slide into the Kelly Grimsley Auto Group in Odessa today. Save! Steak 42 is more than just mouth-watering steaks. Steak 42 is your place for lunch, dinner, and happy hour. For lunch, enjoy a thick, juicy burger, this tasty turkey ham and cheese club, or try a healthier alternative with this arugula steak salad. For dinner, this is not your mama's pork chop. Look at this thick, succulent chop. And of course, we have steaks, ribeyes, fillets, and much more. Join us every day for happy hour with great drink selections. Steak 42, located at 911 South Big Spring Street in Midland. Hey folks, Strike Colbath and Benny Boyd and Andrews. Just recently, we've suffered some major fire damage. But we're West Texans, and West Texans overcome tough times. As we rebuild, we're fully open and operational in our temporary offices right here on the lot. We invite you to come see us during the Drive and Discover event, where we'll save you thousands and treat you like family. Remember, the West Texas spirit is alive and well at Benny Boyd and Andrews. After 30 years at Local 2 and forecasting your weather, one thing's for sure, we've been through a lot together. Droughts, severe storms, backyard barbecues, heck, I even had air at one point. Sexy. But no matter what else changes, Local 2 and I are always dedicated to local weather coverage that impacts you. Local 2, your local weather authority. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to get one last look at the severe weather storms. We have these storms moving through Martin and Andrews County, even sneaking into Midland County, too. We had a pretty big thunderstorm spotted at the air park earlier. Now, most of the heavy thunderstorms that were in Borden and uh, County earlier have moved off to Scurry County, and you just see all the heavy lightning strikes over there. Got to be on the lookout, but fortunately for us, it's moved out of our viewing area, and it's now in Scurry County. Uh, keep updated with us on Facebook. Lauren, to you at the desk. And did you know the month of May is National Hamburger Month or that today is National Hamburger Day? Well, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association says the hamburger made its international debut at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. It was served on sliced bread with ground mustard, mayo, and onion slice 